Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Scorpio friends and friends of Scorpio. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. And hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So Scorpio, please know if this message resonates with you, this message is for you. Um, we're going to look at messages through meditation here and then we'll move into the tarot as we do. So Scorpio um, really had some fragmented stuff come through, to be honest with you. And uh, I do feel like you yourself may be feeling a bit fragmented yourself. Um, the first thing that came through was Ayurveda. Um, this could be like knowledge in Ayurveda in general. It feels like something healing wise, okay? Like medicine through Ayurveda. Um, the Pisces symbol came through next and what that said to me was uh, intuition or um, that something like something is wanting to be seen right now and it may not be mm, it may not be solvable through um, like typical means I guess we would say like uh, Western medicine or something like that there's an encouragement to look into Ayurveda so this could be like meditation it could be um, in the form of mudras um, which are like your hand symbols. And I actually have an Oracle deck of mudras here and I'm gonna pull a card here for you. Just because this did come through, I felt called to. So the next message that came through was artificial sun. Um, so this one is, this is where it got kind of, I'm not really sure, I'm interested to get into the message here for you guys. Tautness or tightness and then repair was coming through. So initially I thought of like a tanning bed, artificial sun. Um, and the need, maybe, maybe there is, you know, someone out there who is over tanning or <laughs> there is a request to, um, uh, to maybe even take a break, repairing the skin, taking care of yourself, uh, looking out for where there may be tightness. Um, I did pull, um, an archetypes Oracle card as well to try to get a little bit more direction here on the message. And the one that came through was gem. Gem. So the gem. Um, the gem is about like this gem is inside of you. Okay. So when I pulled this card, I kind of got a little bit different take on the artificial sun, almost like you're diving the depths to find this gem, mining for this gem, which is a component of you, um, like a bright light, an artificial sun, <laughs> a bright light is needed to see where this gem is almost like this gem is because um, the book talks about this material is inside of another material that's not like it. So I kind of feel like this is a component that might even be in the shadow for you guys. You're being requested to bring a great deal of light, similar to the sun, into the situation, um, into the shadow. And in doing so, there are glimmers that are reflected off of this gem that allow you to find where it is. Okay, so yes, interesting. Like I said, <laughs> let's uh, let's pull a mudra card for you, and then we'll get into the tarot. So, spirit, what do we have here for Scorpio? Additional messages here. What does Scorpio oh, need to know? What would be helpful energy for them at this time? All in one, one and all. <laughs> interesting. It is this one here too. Um, so I'm going to read the back of this here. Janana Chin Mudra. I can't really, I don't know how to pronounce that here. Um, this mudra has a regener regenerative and strengthening effect on the whole body. It lightens and clarifies the spirit and is balsam for the soul. The fingers of the left hand point downward and those of the right hand upward. So downward and upward here. Just like the picture. Um, the contact between the thumb and index finger fingertip of each hand symbolizes the connection of human consciousness with that of the cosmos. Through our connection with the cosmic consciousness, we can, we can give up, surrender our fears, doubts, worries, and daily burdens. In the security of this bond, we are never alone. We are all one. Connected with the eternal light, my true self reveals itself. It radiates my love into the world. Totally, yes, just like that gem. There's a need for this, like that artificial sun, whatever that is. Um, it is a powerful energy that is there to number one, help you find this gem, but then to also fill this component of yourself with light so that it radiates out into the world also. Yes. So um, pointing down and pointing up here. Okay. Meditation in this way, if you want to utilize that energy. 
All right, let's move into the tarot for you guys. This is the Untamed Tarot we'll start with. Huge shout out to my channel members, of course. Hello, you guys. Thank you for your love and support. If you are interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there's a link in the description here. You can click on or click the join button next to the subscribe. So the star is here at the split. Um, I do feel like we're, we're mining for hope, okay, for Scorpio. Days have been dark is kind of what's coming through here. Um, private readings are open and available as well. There's a link in the description here. You can check out my website if and you choose. So Nine of Wands comes in here first. This is your hopes and dreams. 555 on the timer as well. I just did uh, Libra. They had that as well. Change. I do feel like there's big change that's coming for us, okay? Nine of Wands being in your hope. You're tired of running into dead ends is kind of what I'm feeling. You're tired in general. This is the wounded warrior. This is somebody who's been seeking an answer, a solution, a way through. And um, you feel like you've maybe exhausted all of your resources. You're hoping to find that way through. I feel like it's coming, you guys. It's coming. There is success that's available with the Nine of Wands. If it's not here or it's not quite here, it's just around the corner, okay? So um, we'll use the Wild Unknown Tarot here for your second deck. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? Hmm. Lover stands out here. Two of Pentacles and Mother of Pentacles. Um, a lot of choices that are coming up as a reminder. There are choices that need to be made here to move towards a greater balance. Okay. Judgment. Maybe even a need to forgive for some of you to release something from a previous life. This is a general message, you guys. So please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. Feel free to leave it behind if it is not your message. Check out your rising moon Venus and the other major replacements in your chart for additional messages. So nine of pentacles comes through here as your fear aversion or anxiety. This is your, um, your ability to stand on your own two feet is what I get from that. I do feel like you've been in this situation where you just keep feeling like you're being knocked down. Is this... Um, but what I'm kidding is like, you're tired of platitudes. <laughs> you're tired of just being placated with platitudes. Um, there has to be a better way. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Um, you're afraid or you're nervous that this kind of abundance, safety, security, peace, stability, calm, collected thought is just not available for you. I don't feel like that's true, okay? <laughs> Let's move forward here. In your general to start, General energy surrounding Scorpio. You guys have the fool. Um, there's an opportunity. Well, faith. Yeah, I do feel like faith is really coming through here. I feel like this is something that, um, like what I'm seeing is you're already free falling. Like you've already made this choice to start a new journey, whatever this means. Or there's an opportunity coming forward to start something new. But what I'm seeing more so is um, like you're falling with your back towards the earth. And you're being asked to like shift, <laughs> shift your position so that you're facing the earth, even though that may feel scary, seeing the planet <laughs> coming to you very quickly. This puts you in a position to where you can actually release your, um, what is that called? Parachute. <laughs> to release your parachute properly and to land safely. So there's kind of a mix between like using using um, your instincts and mixing that with faith, respect in the divine is what comes through. That's interesting. But shifting here, okay, shifting your position allows you to move into a position of safety. Um, Eight of Wands comes through here next too. I do feel like a quick decision, like I was saying, like the earth is coming up quick, ground's coming up quick here. There's a need to make a quick decision, to make a quick turn. And I, the Ayurveda is coming back here too. If you have the ability, like if you're experiencing something illness-wise, um, check it out. There's just something, there's something about listening to your intuition and, and looking at that scope. I do feel like there is success or good news in that area for some of you. Um, but overall, I just feel like there's a need to make a quick decision on something to change course quickly 
or just the direction that you're facing your own journey. Don't close your eyes. Mm. Don't close your eyes to the artificial sun either. Don't look directly at it, but <laughs> don't close your eyes to it. Okay, um, good stuff. Let's move into what's what's good here for Scorpio. Ten of Cups to start. Yeah, I feel this like um, like a strong family unit is coming through or strengthening the family unit. Ten of Cups is connection to the divine. It's divine love, happy family. Um, could be your community as well. I feel like this is being highlighted at this time. Maybe this is your artificial son. Is your family, connection to your family or connection to your community. Allow the brightness, mm, allow the brightness of those you trust to help illuminate your path if needed. Yeah, something about leaning on leaning on those that you trust right now. I see these two cups here at the bottom. Like one is is they're both spilling, but one is like spilling into the other. Um, maybe you need a lifeline right now from a friend. Let's keep going. So five of swords comes in here next, and your good stuff. Um, five of swords is like a battle, a fight. Fighting for the sake of fighting. Typically, there's an encouragement to... Ceasefire is what comes through. Interesting. There's an encouragement to step away from unnecessary conflict. Um, yeah, I feel like a ceasefire. Hmm. If there have been situations that you're in right now where there has been fighting in your family, with your friends, even within yourself, I feel like there is an opportunity for a ceasefire. For peace. Um, anything else here for the good stuff for Scorpio? The Empress. Yeah, I feel like a time of peace, you guys. Radiance comes through here. Abundance in receiving. I feel like there, um, what comes through is overload of information. Like there is a wave of information in the form of energy or could literally be information i feel like you guys someone is looking for an answer to something and that answer is on its way but there's a need to put yourself into a receptive state to receive that response or to receive that answer okay let's keep moving forward always moving forward so um what you don't see coming here what is in the dark or maybe in the dark? Um, Nine of Swords. <clears throat> so Nine of Swords is a card of fear and anxiety, insomnia. Waking up from a nightmare to realize that you woke up into a nightmare. Um, there is a, compo a component of mourning that is a part of this as well. I feel like there is a... Uh, interesting. Like there's a shift in the way that um, you ha are, you're being asked to shift the way that you engage with your family. Interesting. A grief that can't be spoken. I don't like that spirit. Don't, please don't give me that message. Um, let's get this other card here and then we're going to explore this. <laughs> Ace of Cups here comes in next with the nine of swords um a new emotional opportunity a new opportunity for connection to feel full of spirit an opportunity to regain trust in spirit okay can you tell me a little bit more about the nine of swords i didn't like that message <laughs> why nine of swords here queen of pentacles and the moon Okay, I feel like this is um, fear. That's what is coming through here. So Queen of Pentacles, this is um, kind of that mother energy too, but it's a stable, secure earth energy. Um, an individual who is decisive, makes the decisions that need to be made to move them forward in their life, to create the life that they want. What I was getting from the Nine of Swords here, so there's a component of like mourning from... Um, uh, the loss of someone, it can be. So what I'm what I'm feeling is that there is this fear 
surrounding that kind of situation with someone in your life. I don't feel like, not that the fear is invalid, but I don't feel like this is where life is moving for you. Um, there is a request that's coming through to have faith, to fill yourself so full of this faith in spirit that that fear must exit your experience. Some of you may be struggling with fertility. If that's the case, I feel like there's an opportunity coming forward. Um, that'll blow your mind. <laughs> that'll turn the tables. Okay, I like that. Much better, I like that spirit. <laughs> I wasn't gonna leave it at that. So your obstacle here right now in this situation and this time, you have Page of Wands come through. So Page of Wands is... Um, is, a, is my put me in coach card. I feel like you guys may be struggling with initiating or getting excited about components of your life. Getting excited or feeling jovial, happy towards where you are in this experience. And I can understand with nine of swords, if this is your situation where you're feeling scared or nervous about a potential loss um, it makes sense why, you know, this vibrancy may be missing in your life. Um, this could also symbolize, I mean, it could also symb symbolize a juvenile energy in your life. Something providing an obstacle in that form for you right now. Um, Six of Wands comes through here next. This does, I do like to see this. This does tell me that there is a victory over this. If this is your situation or there's fear surrounding, could be a child, you, you know, you're dealing with. Could be a younger brother or sister or non-binary sibling. Not a sibling, I guess, non-binary <laughs> or non-gendered. Um, but this, this nods to success for me, okay? The difficult part about this is you guys are in the thick of it right now. You may even be able to see the rainbow above here, but you're not in a place where you can break through to the light. Mm. Maybe this is a situation where you need some artificial sun right now, too. Need some vitamin D. Maybe you've been stuck literally even in the dark for too long. Maybe you live somewhere like I do where there's not enough sun. Start taking vitamin D if you feel like... Use your intuition here, you guys. I'm not a doctor. But um, if you do live in a place where there is a lack of that, I feel like that could really be affecting the way that you are... Um, navigating your experience right now. How does Scorpio approach this challenge, please, Spirit? Some advice for Scorpio. Lovers and Ace of Wands comes through here. Uh, Page of Swords here, too. There is something about, like, arming yourself with knowledge. Um, may even be in, in Ayurveda, you guys. Maybe something is available there, like I said, answers to something for you or for someone else around you that you're looking for uh, or to assist in some way. Even if somebody's not sick, I just feel like um, you yourself may be feeling lost. There's something about, so in Ayurveda, they look at like a balance of things, mind, body, and spirit. Uh, there's, you know, Eastern medicine philosophy. Um, if you live somewhere where Western medicine dominates, I, I highly encourage just even starting to take a look at that. Um, especially with Ace of Wands coming through here, this is an encouragement towards a new journey, a new direction. Passion and excitement coming f because of that. Um, an opportunity to start new, an opportunity to participate in life again. There's always a need though to like, like with the lovers, there's a need to make a decision to take that path. Lovers is being at a crossroads here. The feeling of um, doing what it is you think you should do versus what it is you want to do or intuitively getting a hit on doing. I feel like it's really important right now to listen to your intuition. Okay, Scorpio, and make decisions based off of that. Life beginning again by making a choice to do what it is that you feel is right. Okay. Okay, so let's move into uh, three pieces of advice here for Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio here? A new opportunity. Ooh, yeah. Insights gained from a new experience, job, or partner. Um, 
yeah, I mean, you have, you do have lovers. You do have the Empress come through here too. Empress is a divine counterpart. Could be an opportunity for um, new love coming through. I will look into love and career here in the extended as well. Oh, leap of faith. <laughs> Taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. And you did have that with the fool, like I was saying. Um, I feel like most of you have taken this leap. There may be a need to actually leap, take the leap. Um, but overall, I feel it's like, like a shifting of what I'm feeling is you may be trying to turn away from where you feel that there is danger and the danger is in turning away. How do you avoid an oncoming train if you're not face, if you can't see where it's coming from, right? It could be the artificial sun too. Whatever it is you may be trying to avoid, I feel it's important to face to face head on right now, okay? Last piece of advice for Scorpio. Be open to change. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. Maybe you are someone who is, um, I mean, if you're watching my channel, if you watch tarot and that sort of thing on YouTube, I feel like you may be open to new experiences, new modals of healing and that sort of thing. Um, I am, again, just being led back to like Ayurveda. There's something about um, even looking at like the various elements within your experience that may be off balance. Look into mudras. Incorporate that into your meditation because I know you're meditating, right? <laughs> Check it out. Use your intuition. Like I said, if this is for you, it's for you. So um, animal spirit messages here for Scorpio. And then we'll close this out. Fine tuning comes through. I'm just getting these kind of like tones in my ears right now. Um, so tiger and lizard come through. Tiger is um, is like divine feminine force. There is um, the book talks about so the tiger hunts at night. Okay, let me see if I can get this out. Tiger hunts at night. The book talks about like possibly being afraid of uh, the bump in the night, something in in the nighttime, in the dark where you can't see. But um, not recommending to not be afraid of that because all that is in the dark there is actually your own power. Kind of wrapping that back to the gem here, the artificial sun. I feel like you guys are diving deeper into your own experience. You are looking for this gem, this gold here. But as it gets darker, um, there is a loss of trust or faith in your own power. Mmm, that makes a bit more sense too with the sun. Like gleaning power from the sun. We do need the sun, you know, the sun does bring life. Um, in a standard sense, above the surface, we would be utilizing the sun for vitamin D, to grow plants, for food, whatever. As you guys are diving deep, though, there's a need to use to like to use an echo of the sun is what's coming through to remember that the sun is there. That power is still there. Just because the lights went out doesn't mean that the, the power is any different. You are still you. There's a request to to recognize that, though, in the dark with the lizard, I'm getting this um, this feeling of like regeneration. The lizard can have its tail cut off and it will regenerate to get back up. Again, there's a sense I'm kind of drawn to the Empress here in this process of healing. Like that healing happens in the dark. There's something about healing happening in the dark. If there is a wound, um, protecting that, mm, protecting that from... That's really interesting too. I just rewatched The Fifth Element yesterday and the part that's standing out <laughs> as they were reconstructing her, the fifth element, the supreme being, um, in that machine or whatever, they subjected her tissues that were printed out to UV light to grow skin. <laughs> um, that's what's standing out to me right now. Like allowing something to be illuminated to the truth, to the sun, to the artificial sun even, to provide protection for yourself. How does, I don't want to leave it at that. Can you give me a little more information on that, please, Spirit? 
What in the hell does that mean? <laughs> okay, back to nine. Back to nine of wands here. Um, there is success that is just around the corner here. Your hard work is soon going to be paying off. I'm getting this idea of like toiling in the sun. Um, it will make sense soon. Okay, that's what's coming through. Okay, thank you, Spirit. All right, Scorpio. So I'm gonna move into the extended here, dive a little bit deeper. Um, if you guys wanna join me, there are links in the description. You can purchase that individually or become a member to have access to all of them. Again, readings are available if you wanna check that out. And please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, all great ways to support me in the growth of this channel and I truly appreciate it, you guys. Couldn't do it without you. Donations are, are accepted and appreciated. Thank you guys so much to those who do support the channel in that way as well. I truly appreciate it. So Scorpio, um, great to see you. Please take care of yourself. I'll see you all very soon. Okay, be well.